Yeah, so the CDK4-6 inhibitors, I think, have been exciting um, for the last three years. I think 2015 welcomed the Paloma-1 data that really, I think, took the clinical science of the CDK4-6 um, dysregulation in cancers um, and showed that inhibiting that with a CDK4 inhibitor, um, the initial was palbociclib, that you could um, actually affect outcomes and really showed a doubling of the disease control rate or disease-free survival. And so that really, in February 2015, opened the door for accelerated approval of palbociclib in that setting. And that was the first line um, hormone receptor positive. Um, the confirmatory trial, uh, the Paloma 2, I think resonated that that signal was real and reproducible. Um, and so that went on to lead to an approval um, this year in, in March 2017. Paloma 3 took on a different look, um, still wanting to test the role of the CDK4-6 um, inhibitors in the hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer patients um, and looked at patients who had been on prior endocrine therapy and failed that, then went on to receive full vestrant with a CDK4-6 inhibitor and showed while the advantage wasn't as as statistically um, significant as what we saw in first line, the, the signal was clearly there, was important, um, was statistically significant at a five months. So the margin of benefit was a little bit smaller, um, but there were a, a later line therapy group of patients. Um, Mona Lisa 2 has presented its data and that resulted with ribociclib in combination with um, letrozole, again in that first line setting. And I think what's so exciting there is that we saw a great um, benefit there in terms of again showing that doubling of the progression free survival. So essentially a year before patients are experiencing disease progression with the addition of ribociclib as a CDK46 inhibitor.